enjoyed my lecture please if you enjoyed this make sure you subscribe to my channel and i thank the old ones for coming back always to my channel thank you very much let's get get prepared get prepared, get prepared. Shh. listen listen carefully, carefully and pay attention, and pay attention. On today's tutorial, I want to show you how to make a simple basque crop top of shoulder and zipper at the front of the top. So, the first thing I do is to get the length. The length of my top is 19, but I'll have to add extra one inch for the little basque that I want to add. So, I mark my length. I mark at 18 and a half that will form the basque at the side. And I mark at the under balls, which is 15. This is 15. All these lines, I got it from my client's body. The middle boss is at 10 and a half. Okay, the armpit is at 8 and a half. Uh, the sweetheart neck is at 7 and a half. Then the off shoulder at 4 inches. Remember, I am using inches for my inches for my pattern drafting. So the next thing I do after marking out this uh, is it vertical or horizontal lines? Okay. After marking out my horizontal lines, the next thing I do is to mark out the zipper allowance, which is one inch. I mark it from down to up. Okay. This is like. Which you do it based on where the tape is facing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I am this yapa, if I am if I am like it's not good, so is it horizontal or vertical? This is horizontal, but you don't have to do it based on how the tape is. No, 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 no. This is not horizontal. This one like this is that. This line now, line not good. So horizontal. It's horizontal lines now. Mm -hmm. So I join my lines from up to down. This is my zipper allowance. So. This uh, top is for my humble self. Um, it's, it's what, it's, it is a popular demand from my subscribers, so I decided to make it for myself. So because I'm a little bit on the big side, I have to use 6 inches for my off shoulder neck. This is 6 inches minus the zipper allowance. I have to cover it in. This is, remember, this is a um, sweetheart neck. So I come down a little bit and from here I curve it in to this point. So my zipper is gonna end here and curve in to this place. So I now have to mark the dark lines, which is four and a half minus the zipper allowance if you are gonna add zipper allowance it has to be five and a half so i mark my four and a half here on the this is middle bust line on the under bust line i mark my four and a half also and on the length on the length line i have to mark my four and a half also then join the three lines these three lines will make your work easier now so this is the center and this is going to be the side. So I mark one inch from here, mark one inch here, join it like this and to the center like this. Hope you are getting it. Then the next thing I do is my armpit line, my off shoulder armpit. This is the way I draft it. So from here, I join like here, one inch from this line, I join it. This is my off shoulder, my off shoulder um, princess dart. And by the side, this is the center pattern, the side pattern, I'll have to mark two and a half inches. This line here, that's on the line, on the length line. And on the under bust, I mark my two and a half inches, join the two like this, and from here, 
in the coffee manner, I join it to my middle post this way. And on this line, I have to mark one inch. Then curve it into the one inch. Like this. Hope it is simple. If there's anything you don't understand, please chat me at the comment section. Sorry, I didn't give you the measurements at the initial stage. This is the shoulder, which is 15, bust 44, under bust 36, and waist 37, and the length is 19. So, with this measurement now, I have to calculate for the waist and the under bust. The waist, uh, at times I, I'll just use the upper limit, which is 37. So, 37 divided by 4. Let's approximate it to 38. Divided by 4 will give, will give us 9.5. So from here, I get my 3.5. Put it here. This is my 3.5. And, and I use the 3.5. Put it here. On this line, get my 9.5. This is 9.5. And, and add my 2.5 inches for allowances. This is my dress pattern. You see it? So, but there's something I want to teach you. You can see that this line is straight. Because I don't have flat tummy, I have to do something here. Because I don't have flat tummy. Do you hear that? I have a phobia. So I have to add like three quarter from here and drag it up to this place. Add like half inch by this side and drag it up. Join it to this line. It will make it to have allowance for my big stomach. Draft my bask, which will come down from here. That is the 18. 18. Sorry, I have to add it half inch so that it will short the length. From here, join it. And join it. This is it. Remove this because uh, the level of the English mouth is so bold. I don't want four for off shoulder, eight and a half for armpit, um, and this is uh, seventeen for my waistline, and this is uh, nineteen and a half for the length. 21 for my basque length and 18 and a half for the side basque length. So let's go at it again. Off shoulder line, armpit line. I have to add the neckline. Let me do it eight. Neckline, let me do it eight. Then waistline 17. The upper basque line 18 and a half. The length is 19 and a half. And the center basque line is at 21. So, drafting time. Here, I need to add half inch for this center. And when I come to the waistline, I deepen it a bit to three quarter. So the line will now go this way. This way. And by this, it will come out half again. I want it to have very fine shape at the back. You know, and this is line is uh, my neck. Uh, Yes, my neck is six. I used six for the front. So from here, I join it in a curvy manner to the neckline. And from here, I join it to the armpit line. So time to dart. That's that. My dart is four and a half. I have to mark four and a half here. And five inches here. Then one one quarter, one one quarter, and everything will be two and a half. So this line, one inch from here, join, join, and to here, join, and join. Yeah. So the basque line is here. We do it like this to the length, and from here. To this place see how sharp and beautiful it is this is my back pattern 
So with what we did in the front, we have uh, 48, we made it to be nine and a half. So from here I measure, it is three and a half still. Take the three and a half, place it by this side and get my nine, in, nine and a half inches and add my two and a half. In case you've not watched, you don't know what is two and a half. One inch is for joining uh, allowance for here, see my allowance for this part. Another one inch is for shaping allowance and that half inch, remaining half inch is for turning uh, lining allowance because I'll have to fully line the top. So let's go, join it throughout. Then I add one inch here. If you don't know the use of this one inch, if you don't want to do it that way, you can still measure like this. Like this, 15 and a half, put it like this, measure it this way, you see where it's ended. So I don't want to take any chance, I don't even have time to do this measurement. I did it because I'm doing video, I'll just add extra one inch here and join. So hope you enjoyed my lecture, please if you enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I thank the old ones for coming back always to my channel, thank you very much. You guys are really my talented team because I've reached 1,000 subscri subscribers just in seven months' time. So, and I want you to, I want us to team and do more. So, thank you very much. My pattern.